Welcome back viewers, you're watching RSR TV show program coming on from Guyana. We have an ex exclusive interview with the Attorney General of Guyana, the Honorable Amul Nandalal. Welcome you on the program. Thank you very much and it's a pleasure to be here. I know there's a lot of issues in, uh, going on in the, in the Assembly and one of the major problems that people are so confused in New York is about the one London there was a detail on what's going on with the London bill. Well, the Guyana is part of the region, and the Caribbean region falls under the administration and supervision of an organization called the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force. That organization has the responsibility and indeed the duty of ensuring that country and region implement the requisite laws, guidelines, and policies to have an effective legislative and administrative regime to combat crimes such as money laundering, uh, and drugs and financing uh, terrorism and terrorism itself. All of these are billions as a result of what occurred in New York and Washington on September 11th, 2001. The world has become a different place since then and many countries under the direct of organizations like the uh, Security Council of the United Nations and many organizations of that type have promulgated model legislation, model rules, and a whole host of guidelines and administrative policies which they require their members implement. The Korean Financial Action Task Force is shown with the responsibility of ensuring countries in the Caribbean and Latin America area discharge those obligations. So we were given a law, a bill to pass in 2007. We passed that bill, but you know, law is a static. It always is an evolutionary process. And therefore, and criminals also change their mode they employ more sophisticated strategies, more sophisticated uh, methods of committing crimes. So as a result, one each country ordinarily and expectedly would have to update their laws and update their criminal their crime fighting structure to meet the emergency and the new uh, changes that are taking place in the criminal world. Because of these reasons, you have to keep updating your law. And the Caribbean Financial Task Force, as similar organizations of its type in Europe, in Africa, in Asia, is expected to ensure that countries that fall under its umbrella of supervision, which includes Guyana, they bring their law and their policies up to speed speak, to ensure that as far as possible, we have in the world a common network of laws to deal with the issues of terrorism, money laundering, drug trafficking, arms trade, etc. So, and this organization is expected ever so often to conduct periodic examination of all the countries that fall under its supervision. So in the discharge of that mandate, uh, they came to Guyana, as they did in every country in the Caribbean. They looked at our rate of conviction or charges, they looked at our infrastructure, and they looked at new guidelines, which they have given to them by their uh, supervisors, the Security Council, 
United Nations and an organization called the Financial Action Task Force, that's a body which is headquartered in Paris, France. And um, they pass those on to the countries in the region with instructions to implement them. They came to Guyana and they undertook a study and they examined us uh, in 2010 and in 2011 they produced a report with new recommendations which include the implementation of policies at the administrative level as well as correcting certain identified deficiencies in our legislative architecture.